Can you believe what you have been seeing on CNN today, ladies and gentlemen? Can you believe it? <laughs> Supposedly, a CNN reporter found Osama bin Laden took a television camera crew with him, went into Osama bin Laden's hideout, interviewed him and his top leadership, his top lieutenants and colonels and generals in their hideout. This is a CNN reporter with a camera crew. And he came out and told everybody, within three weeks, Osama bin Laden is going to attack the United States and Israel. Now, don't you think that's kind of strange, folks? You see, because the largest intelligence apparatus in the world, with the biggest budget in the history of the world, has been looking for Osama bin Laden for years and years and years, and can't find him. A reporter from CNN and his little camera crew got in to Osama bin Laden's secret hideout and conducted an interview. If you don't believe me, tune in to CNN. They're probably running it right now as I'm speaking. And if you believe it, you are one of the stupidest jerks that ever lived on the face of this earth. And whatever is going to happen that they're going to blame on Osama bin Laden, don't you even believe it. When in hell are all you people going to wake up? An examination of the building's steel beams and columns could have shown whether explosives had been used to slice them, but virtually all of the steel was removed before it could be properly investigated, then put on ships to Asia to be melted down. It's important for us to, uh, to not reveal how we collect information. That's what the enemy wants. And you have no evidence that the government's behind 9-11. And it I frankly think it's an awful thing to allege, considering it's not true and you haven't proved that it is. It's totally implausible. Like, we would report that if not, that were not. true. Because these guys own our government. They print our money and they own not only the government, but they own you. You are their property. So, in other words, these guys print the money, they run the country, and they own you. And they own everything around it. And so they make the laws. And that's why they can decide who can kill who and who can get away with who and who can get away with whatever because they make the laws and they decide, all right? On that day, what did the president say to you? The president, in a very intimidating way, left us, me and my staff, with the, impl the clear indication that he wanted us to come back with the word that there was an Iraqi hand behind 9-11 because they had been planning to do something about Iraq from before the time they came into office. Did he ask about any other nations no, other than Iraq? No, no, no. No, not at all. It was Iraq, Saddam, find out, get back to me. And were his questions more about Iraq than about Al-Qaeda? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. He didn't ask me about Al-Qaeda. And we said, but Iraq had nothing to do with this. And that didn't seem to make much difference. And we'll continue to work together to achieve peace. That's what we want. Freedom and peace. Look at the Council on Foreign Relations. Many members, in fact the majority, never serve on the executive committees. They never go through any initiation of any kind. They are, in fact, the power base and are used to gain a consensus of opinion. The majority are not really members, but are made to feel as if they are. In reality, they are being used and are unwilling or unable to understand. They may have been or may be members of the Christian or Jewish religion, but that is only to further their own ends. They are and always have been Luciferian and internationalists. They give allegiance to no particular nation, although they have used, on occasion, nationalism to further their causes. Their only concern is to gain greater economic and political power. The ultimate objective of the leaders of both groups is identical. They are determined to win for themselves undisputed control of the wealth, natural resources, and manpower of the entire planet. They intend to turn the world into their conception of a Luciferian totalitarian socialist state. In the process, they will eliminate all Christians, Jews, and atheists. You have just learned one, but only one, of the great mystery. The people who are running this country from behind the scenes do not care a thing about Americans or bloodshed anywhere. I think we're going to awaken one day to find out that we've all been too relaxed and entertained and uh, watching television and being entertained with all the cares of life, never realizing what is going on in this country. In the secret, ladies and gentlemen, they are at least very bare minimum 50 to 100 years ahead beyond what you can even imagine.